we just got back from the grocery store. Our video today is gonna to be a baking video. We finally have an oven in our Airbnb, so we're really excited. We're gonna be making Jaffa cakes. If you don't know what they are, put a picture right here, but they're really, really popular here in the UK or London specifically. So we went to the grocery store. We got a bunch of ingredients to be able to make our Jaffa cakes, including cake mix, orange marmalade, butter, yeah, just stuff that you need to bake with. We are gonna get our groceries out and we're gonna start making our job cakes. Okay, so these are basically all of our ingredients. We're gonna make a boxed cake just because we don't wanna have like a bunch of leftover flour and baking materials if we're only here for a couple more weeks. And then we're gonna stuff it with the orange jam and then we're gonna coat it all with chocolate. We're actually gonna show you guys what a Jaffa cake is, just in case. So if you guys watched our last video, you saw our haul, we bought some of these and this is kind of the box that it comes in. Comes with 10, but we actually already almost ate them all. <laughs> we left one to be like our inspiration. We're gonna try to recreate this. Let me take it out. So this is a Jaffa cake. It has like a little cakey bottom in the middle here is, or like inside of it, is orange jam slash orange marmalade, and then the top has chocolate. So we're gonna recreate this exact thing because it's really popular and it's actually really good. Like, I love these. I wonder how the, the ones we make will taste. Hopefully good, but this is our, this is our inspo. Also, I feel like a lot of people are scared of like chocolate with orange when they think of that flavor. And if you haven't tried something like that, go ahead and like go to your grocery store Highly and you see something like that. I know Trader Joe's has chocolates like that, but if there's any like cookie or bready thing with chocolate and orange, just give it a try. Yeah. It's really good. Like me, myself, I would be like, ew. Like that's a weird combination, but I've had it like multiple times now and it's really underrated. And like I low key wish they had more options like this in the US. It's really good. Let's go make our cake. Look at these eggs that we got from the grocery store. There's two purple ones. That's so cute. Okay, so just gonna follow the instructions on the back of this cake mix. We just need 90 grams of melted butter, 180 milligrams of milk, and three medium eggs. So I already took out the eggs that I'm gonna use, and now I'm gonna pour out 180 milligrams of milk. This is in liters and pints. What do I do about that? Hey, cool. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, problem solved. Oh, I think I poured a little bit too much. Maybe take out like a tablespoon. I have our mixing bowl here and we're kind of rushing a little bit just to get the cake kind of all baked because we have to let it cool before we can really start shaping it. So, yeah. I got the butter, melted, 90 grams. I think it's ready to mix. You want to grab a chair? Ah, uh, no, this is fine. Should and I pour this like in the first? exact same height? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of muscle. One egg. I might need your... You know what those are at? Yeah, it's right here. Oh. <gasps> OMG, bro. <laughs> the egg literally rolled <laughs> and it landed in our open drawer that we have. Yeah, there. we almost had a catastrophic failure. <laughs> and, it's the, and it's the little uh, <laughs> the little purple, purple looking one. one. Yeah, he was trying to get away. It's literally like that movie Sausage Party. He was like <laughs> rolling away, and all the buddies right here are all like, ah, oh, I'm cut it out. You're going in. Same color. Do you guys ever look at like cracked eggs and see like little like, I don't know, like little particles or like brown bits, like there's a couple in these and you're like, I wonder what that is. Oh. Should we, let's maybe beat the eggs first and then we'll add that. Let me get a spark. Let's beat this up. And then the handy dandy Swiss knife come in and clutch again. I literally thought I think Pinky was gonna just fall on the Ew. table. Oh, that's disgusting. Imagine. Nope. Dang, this actually feels kind of weird because I feel like earlier in our channel we did a lot of like baking challenges and like we like yeah, to bake. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so it's all coming back. I know that's like the milk first. Look, Karen has like poured a little bit too much milk, like 200 milliliters, and I took a sip and I haven't had like straight up like milk like that in a while, and it was so good. It was like super creamy and sweet.
Our KitchenAid would come in clutch right now. I know, yeah, we're very limited with our kitchen right now. Even though it has an oven, but one of the like cons that I found out about it is that the knives suck. Like they're so dull. I was literally thinking about buying the little set of knives at the store, but then I was like, oh, that's like a waste of money. And I was like, it'll be fine. Like it, I was struggling to like cut up some tomatoes the other day. But yeah, the knives are super bad. What? Mix, 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 mix the power. Well, Karen is, um, Mixing the batch up, I want to actually butter our little baking sheet. It's super tiny, cute, it's like perfect for brownies. So it'll be like a nice little rectangular cake. Also, Jaffa cakes are little tiny circles. We're not sure if we're gonna make like, try to like maybe mold out circles with like a cup. With, with like a cup. Yeah, to like make Jaffa cakes. Or just make maybe like a big circle or maybe just leave it as a big rectangle, we're not sure. I guess we'll kind of go with the flow as how the cake comes out. I mentioned it's all stuck when we're trying to take it out. I mean, if it is stuck, we just push it on top and then cover it in chocolate and just cut slices very, like, hearty. But let's butter the pan. The more buttered, I guess, the better so it doesn't spill. I'm tired, Grandpa. Mm, no. And she wants, like, a little baking oven to make breads and all these things where you actually have to, like, knead the dough for hours. Or maybe not hours, but, like, a solid three I minutes. I get a KitchenAid, right? Well, yeah. Okay, for, like, for like three hundred dollars. Okay, Christmas is coming up. And now we're gonna fill up our little molds. I think we have a lot of mix for our super tiny cake. Ooh, look at that, bro! It's so thick. I'm gonna try this fine cut orange marmalade. <laughs> oh, I got it. There we go. Mmm. Ooh, it's got like a little pig to it. Ooh, that like shocked my jaw. Yeah. Cake batter okay. is basically ready. We're gonna shove it in the oven, 160 for like almost half an hour. Then we gotta let it cool for a while, so we're gonna put it on the window, just because it's like a classic like little movie setup, and it's perfect here because the windows literally lead to cold as London. Better, no better place to like cool down and cake on a window than I feel like here. Okay, it's been about two hours later. Yeah. Our cake is cooled. Fully cooled, I would imagine. Now the hard part's gonna be to get it out and put it on here. Okay, I think we're gonna put like a plate or something on top of this and then cut out a circle. So it's like an actual Jaffa cake. So let's try to first take it out of the mold. Do you think it'll work? Hopefully. While we're doing this, uh, you guys can watch the chocolate uh, frosting or topping that we're gonna do. We're basically just copying one of Gordon Ramsay's recipes. I've always, I, whenever I do like cakes or want to do chocolate, I do this recipe specific just because it looks really good. So this is what he does. So I'm breaking up the chocolate into smaller pieces. I'm gonna have to end up cutting up, like chopping up a whole chocolate bar, which was 200 grams, I think, about seven ounces. Since our knives are super dull, I'm kind of trying to break them up into smaller chunks first and then I'll go in with the knife. So chef over here being loud AF. While Kim's doing that, I'm gonna make the like cream part. Oh, that hurts so bad. Okay, I'm not doing that anymore. This is gonna take forever. So we have the cream heating up, you can see the steam, and then I'm gonna add the one tablespoon of honey. So we got the cake out, it actually came out super easily and it looks so nice. Are you ready to cut the mold off? We're gonna you use, get all ugly. We're gonna use this like perfect circle. It's like per literally the perfect size. I was looking at a plate too, but the plate was a little too big. This literally goes like edge to edge. Okay, so I cut that circle shape out and it was actually pretty easy. Now we have like cool little shapes. I'm gonna take a little bite, see what it tastes like. Mmm, bro. Mmm, this cake is so good, bro. Wow. Box cake, kill it. I don't know what we can do with these. Maybe just eat it with like coffee or something. Now what we're gonna do is coat the top with the orange jam and then coat the chocolate on top. Right now my cream is boiling where it's just really hot. And then I'm waiting for Karen to finish up the chocolate chopping. Let's pour this bad boy out. 
bro, I just walked into the kitchen and look at Karen's hands. It looks like she's literally killing like the chocolate man. It's just one hand. <laughs> we have our chocolate that I chopped up and then we have butter and now we're gonna pour in cream. Oh yeah, dude, this melted nicely, y'all. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is basically like chocolate dreams. And then the colder this gets, it slowly kind of starts to thicken up, almost like into like a little frosting and it's so perfect. Right now, I think it's kind of perfect to spread it over actually. It's so, so creamy. Yeah, so we gotta get that kick. Get this consistency, y'all. Shout out to Ramsey for this uh, little recipe. I've used it so many times for when I make cake and I want chocolate frosting. Definitely recommend it. Super easy, cream, chocolate, butter, and honey. And it's delicious. Okay, I'm trying to keep stirring this so it doesn't get hard. And then try pouring it. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Any technique? Just learn as you go. Ooh, y'all. It's chocolatey goodness. Sorry for making you hungry or crave chocolate. And you don't have Jaffa cakes in the States, so sorry. Whoa. All right, guys, the time has come. It's many hours later. It's literally dark outside, and it's only 6.30, but it's pretty dark. Yeah, it makes it feel like it's like nine. Yeah, but we finished. Our cake is all ready, or not our cake, our Jaffa cake. Yeah, guys, look how nice it actually looks. Like, if, if you can tell the crust is like, Hardened a little yeah, bit. it's like hardening a little bit, so it's not like super melted. It's like a nice little consistency. And it's literally let me get the let me get the regular one so we can compare. So that's what we intended to make. How many times do you think this fits in here? I'd say at least fifty. Let me try this one. Mmm. In the fridge, the chocolate got really nice mm. and crispy. I'm gonna get some milk just so I like the full cake experience. So I'm gonna get my gallon now. Bam. <laughs> Super low milking, low milk drinker friendly. Let's cut a slice. With our not sharp knife. Ooh, it's going flawlessly through our soft cake. That looks good. Ooh, y'all, we did it. Look at that slice. Look at the color, look at the layers, look at the separation. Are we gonna share this size? I don't know, I'll do my own. Bon appetit. Let's see. Wow, I'm really excited. We haven't, we haven't baked something in forever. So it was so exciting when we figured out we had an oven. Hmm. Mm, that's good. It's very strong. The smell of light tastes completely different. Yeah, <laughs> nothing it's similar really at good. all. Cause it's like cake and then the orange jam is a little different. It's still really good though. Yeah, and I think the chocolate's bomb. The orange jam is not as sweet. I think this one tastes a little bit more like a little bit bitter. Mm -hmm. It's a bitter like hint to it. But I like it because it cuts out like the chocolate sweetness. Mm. Right, let's see what milk. It's really good. I'm gonna be eating this all day for the rest of the week. Okay, guys, thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of fun baking again. It was like it was fun. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Thank you.